on Philly Philly, Pit of Misery. After last week's embarrassing spanking at the hands of the Raiders, Nick Sirianni said something rather interesting in his post-game press conference. He admitted to not watching defensive tape. Many of us put our hands over our faces, and rightfully so, wondering what the fuck we just heard. But even then, he managed to make us cringe even further when he mentioned a reference of fertilizing a plant or something. The mighty E-Rock made a joke about that in a Twitter video. There, the soil company miracle Grow even chimed in and said, Interesting approach to plant care. Let's see how that goes. When companies like that are poking fun at us, you know it's bad. Speaking of which, Miles Sanders, it is revealed that he will be out for the next three weeks. And he put out a tweet saying that he'll be back. So with that, we have decided to activate Jordan Howard from the practice squad. He should have been on the 53-man roster to begin with, but whatever. Boston Scott got his first touches last week against the Raiders. And actually looked a little bit decent for a few times. They will be our feature running backs for this next game. We will be taking on the winless Lions. And despite being winless the way we played the last couple weeks, many Eagles fans had us losing. We go into this game. Lions get the ball first. And, they, and the game kind of starts out the way some of us expected it. They got, a few, they got a few misdirection passes and slowly exposing the Eagles' defense's flaws. But then they missed that field goal and basically any momentum the Lions had quickly evaporated. Yes, the Lions did get a three and out on defense, but the Lions offense couldn't, get anything, couldn't do anything in return. So when the Eagles got the ball the second time, they did what... They did that what they have not been doing all season. They focused on their ground game. Boston Scott was out there doing his thing. Quest Watkins got a nice pass. And even Dallas Goddard got a look. I don't, know, I don't know if he got a look on the first drive, but it resulted in Boston Scott getting his first touchdown of the season. No, wait. I think he did get a touchdown against the Raiders. I don't remember. I, tr I tried to put that game out of mind, so therefore I don't really remember. And from there... It was just it was just it was just all Eagles the rest of the game. They just completely strangled the Lions on both sides of the ball and like wait a minute. What the hell is happening? The Eagles are act they're actually running the ball prim primarily? Man, where the fuck was this all season? Scrap that goddamn RPO bull crap and look how the fucking offense starts playing. The ground game's doing its thing. We're getting the tight ends more involved. Dallas Goddard got a few good passes. There were some difficult catches that he made. Devontae Smith, he only had like one catch, and he was pretty much he he was pretty much a non-factor. I don't know how much I want to blame on him because Jalen Hurts did look suspect for in, but thank God he did not have to throw as much as this Lions offense with a guy with guys who barely got any snaps all season. I mean Boston Scott. Boston Scott got his first snaps of the season last week, and Jordan Howard had just been activated. And they were just pounding the Lions' defense into submission. Just completely imposing their will on that Lions' defense. So basically, Boston Scott got two touchdowns, Jordan Howard got two touchdowns, and... That was pretty much, that was pretty much a summary of the game. Not really much else to talk about. Jalen Hurts didn't look perfect in his throwing, but we didn't have to make him throw as much, and that was absolutely key. Nick definitely called the best game of his career, of, of his head coaching career. way I see it, fuck it. Inject this false hope right into my veins. And I, 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 speaking of Nick, I, I would be a lot harder... I would be grilling him and Howie right now if we did not win this game. Especially with another report that I probably would have put in the beginning. But if we lose, either way, I would have put it at the end anyway. Apparently, Brandon Staley, well, he turned us down just like DeBull did. Who's to say Biennemi didn't do the same thing? And that's how we're in. The, and that's kind of how we're in the situation we're in. Even though we did. Speaking of Brand, why is Brandon Staley a bit more significant? Because we play him next week. 
when we host the Chargers. We'll probably get our asses kicked, aren't we? Fuck you, Spanos. Happy Halloween, meatbags. <laughs>